American people are. And then look up how old Europeans are. Let's do that. Let's, this is Google. It's not, Google wasn't made by a black person, so no one can say shit to us. So, uh, Africans are around 7 million years old. How old are Europeans? We're 7 million years old. All right. Happy birthday, African. I don't know when, what day it was on, but <laughs> how old are Europeans? The genetic, the genetic lineage of Europe, of Europe mysteriously transformed about 4,500 years ago. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, hold on. You're 4,500 oh, years old. Wait, how old? And we 7 million. Uh, well, African civilization was 3150 BC. I think this is a more complicated question. So, so the oldest civilization is from Southern Africa, the San people from Southern the Africa. The San people that look Asian, yes. The San people, that's where everybody's traced from. You can see the documentary, The Journey of Man, where this white guy who's a geneticist proved that. The Journey of Man, it's on YouTube. They even have a book. This white dude went out, so you guys will believe it. Blonde-haired white guy wanted to find out the origin of everyone, and they trace it back to the San people who are from South Africa, who have Asiatic faces. That is where Asian people have their faces from. The Asian look is African. It is not from China. It's from Africa. There are, there are African tribes that have Asiatic faces. That's where the shit comes from. People come yeah. from Africa. Why are we surprised? There are albino Africans. Let's, you know what I'm. That's all I'm saying. So right, I, I think I was actually wrong. I think the whole 4.5 million. Because I don't think humans were around millions of years ago. Well, well, we around. we're we're a couple hundred thousand years. We're oldest C people. Couple, a couple we're the thousand. oldest people. I, I've everyone. Every scientist has been in agreement that Africans were the original humans. Even though they're mad, they still they go. Damn it! Every time they go to Africa, they dig up another bone. Fuck! Right. Fuck! Shout out to Dennis for sending this video in. Yes, Africans are the original people. But the part of this video that I want us to have a conversation on today is the part where brother said that the sand people have Asiatic features or have Asiatic faces. Now, I understand that he might have worded it the way he did because he wanted people to understand the particular kind of features that he was talking about, right? So maybe in the moment, that's the only way he knew how to word it. And to be fair, if we are going to be honest here, at some point in some of our lives, we too have said the same thing. Like, you know, say the sand people or Africans or people of African descent who have this particular kind of features that we're talking about today have Asian features or look Asian. With each passing day, we learn not only about ourselves as a people or our continent, but about the world in general. So our vocabularies and our narratives shouldn't be stagnant. Our vocabularies and our narratives are supposed to be reflecting facts. With the more we know, these things are supposed to be reflective in our vocabularies and narratives. So we cannot in one breath say Africa is the birthplace of humanity and then go to say in that same breath that the San people who are Africans in Africa and are the oldest group of people, we cannot say that these people have Asiatic features or have Asiatic faces. That makes no sense. Side note, I'm speaking just generally here saying that as a people we should collectively watch our vocabularies, the vocabularies that we use and the narratives that we put out there wording things the way we choose towards them. So this is not me calling out this brother at all or trying to say that he attributed the sand people's facial features to Asia because quite frankly he was trying to do the direct opposite of that. Now, he may have, in the moment, struggled with his weddings a little bit. That's why the message was, you know, going back and forth at some point. But the message was clear. And I'm saying that we collectively, as a people, should make the message even more clearer and stand on business and not be doing ourselves a disservice by saying things like, Africans have Asian features or Africans look Asian. So I just want to make it clear that this video is not about me, you know, coming at this brother because he did his part the way he could. Now it's up to us to do our parts. Our individual parts that are eventually going to collectively change the narrative. Whatever the narrative is, whether it's about features, whether it's about African history, whether it's about African achievement, 
whatever the narrative is, it's up to us, African people, people of African descent, to change the narrative that is out there, the negative, stereotypical narrative of what Africa is and what her people are like and what our history is like. How can you be calling the original the lookalike? To be honest, me, myself, I am guilty of doing this. I am guilty of in the past saying that Africans or people of African descent who have this particular kind of features we're talking about today have Asiatic features or look Asian. But immediately I got the necessary education on the matter that I need to get. I immediately stopped saying that ish. So this is present day EVA calling out EVA from a couple of years back for using this factually incorrect and inaccurate vocabulary and also perpetuating this exact same factually incorrect narrative. EVA from a couple of years back was unsurprisingly ignorant, but present day EVA has educated herself and now she knows better. This is why now when I hear people say the sand people look Asian or have Asiatic faces or Asiatic features. I make it a must, a point of duty to one, not only educate on why saying that is factually, historically, scientifically, and all the leaves out there incorrect, but two, I also go for the countering that narrative by saying, no, Asians look like the sand people. Let's get it right. Okay. It's like saying your mom looks like you. No. You look like your mom. And maybe if we all just start using the right narrative here, Africans and people of African descent will stop getting continuously hauled out on the internet and accused of Asian fission. Are you trying to bully me? I'm I'm a Negro. Like <laughs> First of all, I don't understand why you're screaming and hollering. That's why I can't. Bitch, you look a mess. Okay, you sound really dumb. Like, very dumb. Trying to be someone I'm not, how does that even make any sense? Like, who, who do you think I'm trying to be? I've been accused of Asian fishing, this is not the first time. And you sound really dumb because no matter how I do my eyeliner, my eyes are gonna look the same. Um, it's 2021 and people do not realize that almond eyes and monolids are not an only Asian feature. Black people have it too. So stop coming on black women's pages, telling them they're Asian fishing. Like we can't help how we were born. And if that makes you mad, I'm sorry, like I can't do anything about it. I have got a lot of time, but I'm actually gonna take off my eye. Ouch. But yeah, um, Asian fishing where? See, my eyes look the same. Do you feel embarrassed now? Like the way they have our West African sisters fighting for their lives on TikTok because of their eyes. Like, they don't understand how common almond's eyes are in West Africa. These people, can they just please let our sisters breathe? Let them rest, I beg. Now let's say it together. Africa is the birthplace of humanity. Almond eyes, small eyes, monoliths are African features. And something else that is still in line with this particular concept is when you hear people say to an African person or someone that is of African descent that they have European features. That statement, it's crazy to me because all the features you can think about are in Mama Africa, the cradle of civilization, the origin of humanity. So what do you mean when you tell an African person or someone of African descent that they have European features? Like Africa is the most diverse continent. Whatever feature that you are looking for or thinking of is on this continent. Blonde hair, red hair, blue eyes, gray eyes, tall, short, pointed nose, flat nose like mine, straight hair, coily hair, slanted eyes, from the darkest of complexion to the lightest of complexion and hell. I'm not even talking about North Africa here. I'm talking about like black Africa. Okay. Like it's just crazy to me how we all know that Africa is the cradle of civilization. We all know that life started in Africa. The first person was an African. But then when people see an African, 
or a descendant of Africa with a certain fish, uh, they go, what are you mixed with? You have European fish. Uh, what is European fish? Uh? Where did the fish uh, come from? The moon? Again, it's like saying that the mother looks like the child. And I've noticed too that when they do this, they do it to say, oh, you are pretty. The reason why you are pretty is because you have European fishers. <laughs> I am a fully African woman that gets told that I have Eurocentric features all the time. You can even look at my TikTok page, some of the videos I posted, and bam, bam, bam. Oh, she has a European. No, she has European lips. Da, 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 da. Guys, every time that you guys call a fully East African black woman's features Eurocentric, an angel plummets from heaven and she dies. Stop telling fully black people that they have Eurocentric features. Stop invalidating black beauty by comparing it to white people. We're not fucking monoliths. Not all black people look the same. Not all black people have big noses and big lips news fucking flash i'm very much aware that there is a eurocentric beauty standard but saying i have eurocentric features as a fully black person as a nigerian literally what are you talking about y'all are literally feeding into the stereotype of what black people are supposed to look like stop it's weird and very much ignorant very much problematic there are an array of features on this continent and each and every one of us on our features are beautiful so no that's not a European feature. That's a very much African Afrocentric feature. I don't know. I just find it very interesting when people say things like this. And um, I'm just here to try in my little way to set the record straight. See, th this continent is so diverse. Some people cannot even begin to fathom just how diverse we are in Africa. Only in this Nigeria that I'm from. In my head, I'm already thinking about the various... Um, difference in features that we have only in Nigeria <laughs> but there's somebody who come and look at someone from Nigeria and say you have European feature oh please even in here see only in my own family <laughs> only in my immediate family we all don't even have the same hair let's let's start from there <laughs> same mom same dad all of us don't even have the same textures my immediate younger sister's hair pattern is not on the hair chart. It's not. Like, I can't even explain her hair pattern for you guys to understand. She basically has straight hair. She has straight hair that doesn't slip down. She has like a combination though, which we all do in my family, right? So what I mean is that around this part of our hair to the back, the coils are tighter, but around our crown here, the coils are looser she has the same pattern but has very different because around this pattern here for her the coils are tighter yes but here is basically straight hair the hairs are straight like porcupine straight the hairs are straight but they are still in an afro it's not like the hairs are straight so they fall no they don't they are still very much afro she has a straight afro her afro is made of straight hair that's why I said that girl's hair is not on the chat. She's the only one that has it in our family. Nobody else, not cousins, nobody. So yeah, things happen in Mama Africa. And she's one of those things. Or should, should I say her hair is one of the things that happen? <laughs> this is what I'm saying when people think African, they have a particular image in their minds now. Our continent has so much to offer. But anyways, guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, as always, I would see you guys in the next one. Bye. Guys, every time that you guys call a fully East African black woman's features Eurocentric, an angel plummets from heaven and she dies. And don't take this as me dismissing featurism because it 100% is a valid and real thing. However, I feel like sometimes you guys only bring up the term Eurocentric to critique a black woman's beauty. And it's usually dark skin models, have you guys realized? And I know featurism and colorism can go hand in hand, but I feel like you guys don't bring up the term Eurocentric when trying to like decolonizing beauty standards. You just do it to like be like, oh, she's only pretty because she has Eurocentric features. And it could just be that people are like just arguing semantics because I think there's a difference between saying your features are Eurocentric and your features are more palatable and accepted by Eurocentric beauty standards. Because saying someone's features are Eurocentric is crazy. Especially when like East Africa is the birthplace of humanity. How are you going to say that the blueprint looks like the house? It doesn't make sense. And continuously centering European beauty standards at the center of every single conversation, I think is just perpetuating those same ideas that, okay, like smaller features are, are white people features. When you can't give like europeans a monopoly on small features because have you guys seen africa it's literally the most diverse continents like of course smaller features are going to align more with european beauty standards and i think that is a very valid observation especially in like the modeling industry but saying that anoki eyes features 
a Eurocentric is crazy. And I think it's 100% crazy to say to someone, you're only considered pretty because you've got Eurocentric features. Like, do you not think that people had like any ideals or stems of beauty before Europeans came? But yeah, guys, that's my rant of the day.